tips for successful implementation. First thing I can teach anyone is proper scanning techniques. If they're carrying it, they've got to have proper scanning techniques. And they've got to scan low to high. Just, uh, in their essentials manual, just changed it a couple years ago where they actually recommend the camera starts low for a variety of reasons. Cooler environment, victims are found in the lower 48 inch most of the time. And if you're using a standard high and low gain camera, they work better in that cooler environment as far as the image clarity. You also find that pistol grip cameras can easily be turned sideways like in this video from our friends from Bears the Oath. You can clearly see floor to ceiling in one shot. And because of mixed gain mode in the seat camera, we're able to focus in the cooler areas and the hotter areas simultaneously. In this case, we can see the fire and we could use the camera to direct our stream based on we see it coming from the right to the left and that poor ceiling fan's had a bad day. And if you're holding the gangster grip and you need to see the ceiling or see more of the floor, simply twist the throttle to rotate it up or down. Don't raise up in the exhaust. And then when we get the full field of view in there, the victim lightens up because of mixed gain mode and we can see the victim clearly. And a lot of people never notice that there is a victim in that next room in the floor, that white blob that can't really can't tell what it is. Well, we knew what it was because we put them in there. That's directly above the fire next to the stairs where the full exhaust is, which we'll show you some examples here shortly. But we can focus in on one victim when there's actually two. So make sure, as they say, expect victims when you're searching, make sure you capture everybody and you finish that search. If you search that corner of the room and you've got that victim and drug them out, that search is not done. We need to finish that. If you can drop the victim off in the front yard to medic and allow them to do CPR, while you finish the search, that's preferred, but I know that's not always the case for everyone. Keep this in mind. Your first scan will always be your best scan because you are outside of that environment. Once you get in it, you're not promised light smoke, heavy smoke, high moisture, CrossFit gym burning with tractor tires. I don't know. I can't control those variables, but I can tell you if I'm below that air track in the intake, between below the neutral plane, that I can see with my eyes and the camera. Do not look at the tick while you're moving. That's probably the biggest issue I see is firefighters move three to five feet, stop, pick up the camera. I need to pick out my target point, move with speed to that, searching as I move towards it and get to that point.